meteorologist Chase Jones. Okay, we're looking out towards the east and in about 15 minutes, we're gonna be able to see some of those meteors make their way in. Now this camera, not that powerful, but hopefully we get lucky. We're also keeping our eye on those temperatures because out from the west, we're keeping our eye on waves of thunderstorms that are gonna start making their way in as early as tomorrow afternoon. Now, we're looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours, pushing all the way down into those lower 40s. Good run into those mid 80s and we're cooling off pretty quickly. We've dropped off pretty sharply, but we're leveling out in those mid 70s. We'll see how much further we drop down before we're on the recharge and that cloud cover makes its way in. Now, we still have time to prepare for some of this severe weather, but you're going to have all week to sort of be ready for it. It's 73 in San Angelo. Everybody else in a combination of those mid to lower 70s. Always looking for 10 degrees. We're seeing those shades of green slide in from the east. 65 in Coleman, 70 down there in Sonora. Well, 76, so 11 degrees across the entire Concho Valley. We're inside that 10 degree spread, but we're on the lookout for some of that returning cloud cover from the west. Now, dew points are still down there in those 40s, and those humidity indices are pushing up into those 30s and those 40s. So we might see a little bit of a fog on the windshield, but by the afternoon, it's definitely going to burn up. But severe weather right behind it now. Earth Day is tomorrow. We're keeping our eye on these shades of blue and green making their way in towards the Concho Valley. But as we continue to push towards the weekend, it's not going to be a whole lot of moisture to push off severe weather. A lot of that fuel has made its way out. So we're not going to have a whole lot of time to warm up and then cool off into those 60s. So it will be thunderstorms, quick, powerful, maybe some heavy flooding, light hail, still a possibility. And, you know, I'm always on the lookout for a tornado. But as we make our way through the weekend and that last week of April, keeping our eye on a pretty strong system that's going to try to make its way across the Rocky Mountains, hopefully no more snow, but it's going to push a whole lot of moisture back into the Concho Valley. Everybody says it, you know, we need it. Now, water vapor imagery showing you how everything's sort of dissipating and diffusing across the Mississippi River Valley. We're keeping our eye on the circulation around the Dakotas. And then, of course, on the panhandle, keeping that moisture on the radar because that's where we're looking for some of those storms. That's where it's going to form. Now this is for Tuesday. I've been saying all day this is for tomorrow's severe weather outlook. So get a good look. It's the Concho Valley and all the way up into the Panhandle. This is the hail probability for tomorrow as well for Tuesday for Earth Day. OK, hail off towards the northwest about 15 percent, but off towards the eastern side, 5 percent. So it's still a possibility. Cover the car, bring the plants inside. Let's prepare for it so we're ready later. Now when we take a good look at the satellite, calm for now. Perfect for those meteors, but we definitely don't want them to land in the size of hail. It's definitely going to be on the way. By Tuesday morning, here comes the low cloud cover for a misty morning. Burns up by the afternoon, but by Tuesday afternoon, remember, you have sky-worn spotter training, then we're going to prepare all day, then as it makes its way in, you guys are going to have an excellent opportunity to practice as it makes its way through the area all evening. So we're definitely going to be here. Wednesday morning rolls around the same thing. Low cloud cover makes its way and then you guys get another opportunity to prepare with some of that sky worn spotter training. Makes its way in from the west about seven or eight. Skips over us then shows up around Ballinger and then pushes down towards Brady around Thursday morning. Pretty strong outflow boundary. As we make our way into Friday or Thursday afternoon it starts to push in from the southwest. So all week we're going to have a good opportunity to practice all this sky worn training. So tonight all the way back down into those upper 50s looking out for that meteor shower then tomorrow we're keeping our eye out for that low cloud cover severe weather prep storm spotter training then we're practicing all week because take a good look we are locked in those 80s and those 60s that's prime severe storm spotter training fuel take a good look 80s all across the board thunderstorms all week while those overnight lows locked in those 60s that's how it's going to be you guys have asked for the rain it's finally here stay tuned for more of the break you're watching KSN News at 10.